Beloved in Christ, in the midst of COVID-19, God still heals. Isaiah 53 verse 5 says, But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. COVID-19 is traceable to man's wickedness and cruelty of mankind. Within a very short time, its outbreak has wreaked havoc on our way of life worldwide. The world is terrified and panicking in response to a virus. Countries are locking down, closing borders, and banning public gatherings. Sports, tourist attractions, and major events are being cancelled. Churches are closed for services. Cities are strangely quiet. People are being forced to stay home. Markets are shut down. Businesses have been destroyed. And economies, both nationally and globally, are suffering. It caught everyone unaware, particularly in the 21st century, when it seems there is advancement in science and technology. Despite better medicine and technology, the virus has become a big threat to all societies. The world felt there had never been a disease as violent and fast-spreading, threatening human social life and deadly as COVID-19. Governments across the globe have organized to stop the spread of the virus, yet it is on the increase. Thousands of people have died, and hundreds of thousands have been infected. Everybody is feeling the pains. The pandemic has disrupted the social life of the entire world. Generally and collectively, we seemed uncertain of where to even turn. The world at large has lost a perceived sense of control, and the reality of death and grief seems to be staring everyone in the face. The intensity of the virus has raised questions from both believers and unbelievers. Is God angry with mankind? Is this fulfilling Bible prophecy? Can God stop this pandemic? But in the midst of uncertainty, my dear people of God, there's one who is in control. There's one we can turn to. There's one who holds the world in his hand. God is sovereign, reigning over the world in the midst of fear and panic. He's not threatened by this pandemic, nor is torn, for the Lord rules over the kingdoms of the world. Daniel 4.17 It is demonstrated through both Old and New Testament scripture that God has the power to heal our physical bodies. He said, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Jeremiah 32, 27. The Bible speaks often of miraculous healing through the work of Jesus Christ and faith in God. Our Lord is able to provide comfort and healing for the nations. In times like this, we are reminded that God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Psalm 46, verses 1 and 2. My dearly beloved people in God, in the midst of COVID-19 ravaging the world and shaking Nigeria, may I gladly remind you that the Lord Jesus Christ still heals. I understand the mode of operation, the modus operandi of many organizations and governments of the world have changed. The method of worship in most religious centers is also affected as a result of the world outbreak of coronavirus. But God has not and will never change. Irrespective of the situation and challenges, He remains the only and original unchangeable God in His glorious kingdom. He said, For I am the Lord, I do not change. Therefore, you are not consumed, O sons of Jacob. Malachi 3, 6. The word of the Lord in Isaiah 53, verse 5, encourages and assures that long before the world gets to the present challenge of coronavirus pandemic, the Lord has settled our healing because He knows the beginning from the end 
and the end from the beginning. Our Lord Jesus Christ was for our sake despised and rejected, wounded and bruised. He knew headache and sorrow, but was blameless, speaking the truth always and handed over the healing packages to his children. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Divine Head is one of the fools of the children of God. Divine Head is available, but it is obtainable only through faith. Faith is necessary ingredient for healing. This is because every provision of God in the scripture is accessible only through faith. A question was posed in Jeremiah 8.22. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? Hear me clearly. There is always balm in Gilead. You only need to go there by faith. I know in my heart that the present health condition of some people is even more terrible than the challenge of coronavirus. Many are confronted with degrees of sicknesses that has eaten deep into their finances separated their homes and even made their family members and friends to be distanced from them. The good news for you this day is for you to be reminded that because of you, God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit and with power. And he went about and is still going around doing good and to heal all those that are oppressed by the devil. And in the midst of this COVID-19, God still heals. He does and cannot go on holiday because he who keeps Israel shall never slumber nor sleep. People of God, do not lose your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Hold on to him. Coronavirus cannot stop him from working in your life and family. If you are sick, go to him by faith in prayers as you confess your sins to him and depend on him absolutely for healing. And I can assure you that he will deliver you and grant you perfect healing. Be rest assured that all forms of sicknesses, be it spiritual, physical, mental, financial, material, and psychological, can be healed by the Lord. Come to him by faith today. And I pray you are healed in the name of Jesus. The Lord will restore back your health in the name of Jesus. I pray for you as you are listening to me that God in his mercy will have mercy upon you in the name of Jesus. I declare that together with your household, your children shall survive this period of pandemic. You shall watch over them and their household in the name of Jesus. I declare the judgment of God on every hidden and stubborn sickness in your bosom, lineage. You are completely healed in the name of Jesus. Because the word of the Lord says that your body is the temple of the living God. I declare that every strange and popular ailment Therein are crushed by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. I decree that the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ, you are hid. I command that instrument of sickness used by the devil to fight your finance to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. You are set free. Every sentence of death, misfortune, made on your behalf and in your family are overruled by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. I command that the seed of chronic and generation sickness in your lineage to dry up right now in the name of Jesus. I decree in the name of Jesus, henceforth, you will not live in sickness. You will enjoy perfect and complete health in the name of Jesus. Go and rule your world. God bless you and remain rapturable in Jesus' name.